create a spark. That's the start of it. Akin to like a universe born, you could say. It's like very relaxing. You have a set of mind what you want to do. And this is where the magic begins. One of the exciting things about the Q Art Studio is that the artists have a different view of the world and they express it very differently in their art. Each artist has this, this way of looking at it. Some is really naive, some is sort of with designs and, and colour bursts. Other people are precise and detailed, but it's, it's all in that. It's, a, it's the, the way that they see the world. My name is Kitty. My artwork, I think, very intricate. Very um, optimistic about the whole colour contrast and the shading of the artwork as well. Entertaining. And it looks absolutely brilliant. I'm Jan Rowlandson and I'm the manager of QArt. QArt Studio is a professional studio, so we employ artists with artistic abilities. The artists come from various backgrounds, they have various disabilities, and they all are united by their love of art. Hi, um, I'm Jordan. I've been drawing for... since I can remember. Just looking at the canvas inspires me to have all those opportunities to think that what could I do with this canvas? Oh, I'm Ray King. I'm me. <laughs> As a kid, I would always have a pencil and a, and a piece of paper. I'd always I'd figure out, oh, I can do something with this. Okay, see what I can do. <laughs> My name is Sarah. The first thing what we did is we painted the canvas, then I cut and rolled up papers and then glued them onto the canvas and then we painted the beads and then we call it the sea weed, the coral of what it's like under the water of the sea. Sometimes I might not be happy with it, so I try and fix it over and fix it until I get it the right. That actually was quite a big build-up of layers. I would have started off with one layer of ink for the um, backdrop, and then I would have gone over that with a layer of stars, and then I would have gone over that with another layer of ink, and then another stars. And then what, and then what that does, that gives a lot of depth to it. The studio in which we work is the most wonderful, nurturing, um, inspirational environment. You walk in the door and there's hard work because they do work hard, but there's also a lot of fun, a lot of chatting. There's wonderful friendships that are formed. So this becomes their family, and a big artistic family. My name is Ta, I'm an artist, and I work with beautiful, lovely people in here. Tiffany always makes everyone laugh. I'm on the studio. My name is Tiffany McBrew, famous artist. <laughs> I love good friends here. I do uh, watercolour pencils and paints and sell, sell, sell. Everybody, hold on, I want to tell you something. I've got great news. A painting has just sold in the gallery and Tiffany's painting. <laughs> Once the artwork is finished, we take it to the Q Art Gallery, which is in High Street in Kew, and it goes on show and it is sold to the public. Thank you. I was shocked I had to start because I didn't know they were sold. Very, very happy because I know that I'm not the only one that loves my work. I know that someone else loves it even more than I, I do. It showed me that even you have a disability, you have a, like, a creative mind with artistic skills and then it shows that we artists can do more than our, our limitations are. So, yeah.